my heroes. I have lots of heroes because you know, there's not one hero that has everything. I mean, look at the superheroes. Each one has a different power, right? So that's how it is in life. You need to have several heroes. Um, that's my opinion, because each one will teach you something different. So um, I think my parents, they were the first heroes in my life. You know, they taught me to pursue my goals. Yeah, you can do it. You can't was never part of our vocabulary at home. Um, you know, and I can't was something either that uh, that was said a lot. It was, yeah, of course you can. You can go and, and do it. Uh, so my parents were heroes, were my heroes, because they had the vision. They said, you know, I think our kids need to learn a second language. They need to learn English. Um, and because they might pursue an education in the future in which that might might come in handy. So so that was really visionary. And if they wouldn't have done that to me as a child, if they hadn't imparted that as a child, then I wouldn't be here talking to you. Or probably I would, but in Spanish. <laughs> so so they're heroes in that sense. They always raced me. Uh, thinking that I could do whatever I wanted to in life. So, so my other hero um, was my, my PhD advisor. Her name is Mary Kay Howard, and unfortunately she passed away in 2008 due to leukemia. But I learned wonderful things from her. That's, it's, it's great. It's great when you have a great advisor at, at school, um, and you should embrace that opportunity. If you find, uh, whether it's a teacher, a professor, or in my case, when I went to graduate school, I mean, you should really absorb as much knowledge and life experience from that person. It's not just about the knowledge that's in the books that they can teach you, but what they can teach you about life. Because one thing I learned about her, other than great science and how to be creative in science, I learned about, um, you know, how to treat your students with kindness and generosity, and how to be operating in science with the highest level of ethics. So those are those are really features that that are at, in very high esteem in the in the world of science. I think um, you have to be responsible and ethical. And I had a great hero to teach me that when I was learning. And now I try to impart that to my students. So I don't know if I'll be somebody's hero, but I hope I can inspire to do good things like my parents and my PhD advisor inspired me to do.